Okay, so if we're going to do this, let's, uh, let's start with, of course, Stuart Griffin, who's a personal friend of mine. How's a, how's a big novel coming there, Brian? Got, uh, got a big stack of papers? Got good, uh, got good friends become enemies? Enemies become friends? Got, uh, got a good personal narrative? Got a good, uh, good uh, old richer for the experience there, everything? Uh, no, I'm sure you're fine. I don't much here. I'm just lonely here. Just wish the paper board come bring me some good news. Christopher Walken, he goes high, he goes low. Where's he going? I don't know. I'm sure you see I was formerly a guest here. Your best. Losers whine about their best. Winners go home at the prom queen. Everybody get out of here. They're trying to kill you. Everybody go. Nya, Maria, why did you leave me? Everybody, nya, I'm a cop, you idiot. Today the war in Vietnam is taking a turn for the worse. This is Walter Conkite, CBS News. Ted Kappel and ABC's Nightline. Tonight my hair might move for the first time since 1974. Oh boy, if you want to do Mickey Mouse, you've got to get your voice real high. <laughs> That's so exciting. Oh boy, Donald, sounds like you've got a cold. Oh my god, so originally from, we're from New York, but we moved down to Volga, of course. It was so cold up there. I swear to god, my knuckles, they would swell like tangerines. It was awful. I've got rheumatoid, so I had to. Have you met my booby? By the way, I think she's dead. Are you ready? Action is back. This summer, they had one chance, and that chance was to break all the rules. Champagne wishes and caviar dreams, these are the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Now you can see us on the fabulous life of Oprah Winfrey and Lindsay Lohan only shop at Beverly Hills Chagovar. Mm, for 900 years, if I drink jelly. <laughs> and the pitch to Guerrero swung out and a miss, strength two. This game is brought to you by Johnson & Johnson Baby Wax, made from real babies. It's Saturday Night Live, special guest to Tina Fey, musical guest to The Strokes. Now, say, if we're going to move on to the dialect portion of this, now, if you're going to be doing Texas, Texas, you got to sound like you're cocksure yourself, that's what it is. Now, if you're doing Georgia, Georgia's more laid back, maybe on down by Savannah. Now, if you're from South Carolina, you're just going to sound like you're racist, what's it going to sound like? Now, if you're from Louisiana, Louisiana, you're going to get some of that crawfish that too far. You're going to get down there a bow bridge. Not too far from New Orleans, going to get some of that good old Cajun food down there. So, like, if you're doing British, there's like a whole different variety of doing it. You could do like total East End of London. Or, you know, you could do a proper British person. This is usually what you see on television or of the BBC. Or you could do like Liverpool, you know, a bit of a high, a bit of a low, you know, a bit like, you know, uh, John, Paul, George, and Ringo, you know, Pete Best, not really. Now, if you're doing Australian, Australian's one of my absolute favourites to do because, A, girls love it. And also, you can tell amazing, incredible stories that are totally bollocks, by the way, but they'll totally believe it. It's got to be like, you know, a shark bit me in the head and bit me in the heart, you know, tried to shoot me, popped it in the nose, went away, no problem. They always believe it. Now, if you're doing Scottish, now, Scottish is a far cry different because you've got to chop your words up. Now, if you're doing Irish, Irish is a lot right out of the front of your mouth, not to be confused with the Scots. Now, all my family's from the north side of Chicago, so I've been hearing this crap for all my entire life. Down by Navy Pier, we're not Sox fans, we're Cubs fans, because by God, we're Americans who don't believe in the devil. What, you're talking like New York? You want to talk to me? You want to do like, oh my God, Joe Pesci? What, do I make you laugh? What, what am I funny hee-hee? Am I funny ha-ha? What, am I funny like a freaking clown? Yeah, if you're from Boston, you're up there about Foxbow, you know, a big Pats fan. I'm not going to even talk about the Sox, but here's a crazy thing. Cha, dude, if you're from like California, I know it's like stereotypical, but like a little Modesto like out there, like I know there's not as much surfing as there used to be like, oh, La Nina, que pasa, don't worry. Okay, La Nina means the little girl. Okay, I'm not here to like, uh, like, Get in a fight or start no trouble, okay? Listen, if you're going to talk like an Indian, it is very important that you use a certain rhyme and meter to the way you talk. Oh, you're wearing a wedding ring. I see you are only arranged to be married. So, I know that's a little crazy. I know it's a weird way to make a living, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope uh, everything, everything's gonna okay there. Hope, uh, hope I don't get out of frame. Hope I don't, uh, don't disappear on you. No, I'm sure you'll be fine.